Hi everyone, in this video we will demonstrate that how we can restrict access of some users to control panel and settings, system setting. So you know if users have access to control panel then they can make uh, changes and they can really make some important changes in the system which we don't want the users to do that in a certain domain. For example, at the moment I am using my Windows 10 machine and if I click here and if I write control panel we can see we have control panel and if we if a user goes to control panel and if uh, user clicks on system and sec uh, like um, security and if user clicks on windows defender firewall we can see user is able to turn off as well as turn on the firewall as well which is very important from the security perspective of course users can do a lot of things when the user has access to this control panel on a computer so this is just an example but now what we want that we want that uh, these users should not have access to this control panel so we want to deny access to these all things so we want to restrict this access and for that i have this window and uh, windows 10 and this windows 10 is actually part of this domain and we have created this domain um, domain controller on this windows 2022 Windows Server 2022 specifically so now this Windows 10 is part of this domain and now from this server we are going to restrict access to that control panel so that user should not see that or you should user should not have access to that so for that we are going to define a group policy and for that first we need to so here I have these two computers this Windows Server 2022 and we have Windows 10 so I'm in Windows Server 2022 and uh, first we are going to server manager but i just click on windows and then i click on server manager and now the server manager windows is displaying and here we have already installed here on windows uh, server 2022 the active directory domain services so now to define a group policy here to create a group policy here in windows server 2022 we click on tools and then we click on group policy management and in the group policy management this first we should have like here uh, so this is a domain and this is a forest and within that forest we have this domain and this is the name of that domain that is gdlocal.local and in this domain we want actually we want to create a policy so we say here we just click right click here so that that policy which we are creating that will be applicable to this domain as a whole so we click here and then we click create a gpo in this domain and link it here so this policy will be created and this will be at domain level so we have we have the options that we can create organizational unit and we can put computer or users in that group but at the moment just uh, we are creating this at domain level so we click on this link and then here maybe we are creating the GPU or group policy object. So group policy object is actually a virtual collection of policy settings. For example, we want to deny some users to some specific access or maybe. So whatever policy setting, I mean, for example, at the moment we want to prohibit users uh, from accessing control panel and system settings. So for that, we are creating uh, this group policy object and now we need to give any particular name to this group policy object let's say we want uh, we, we we can give it any name let's say restrict access restrict access this is the group policy name which we used here so we click ok now you can see we have this restrict access here that is the group uh, policy we are creating now and then also there is a default domain uh, policy that is created by default but now this is the policy which we created and now in this policy we want to configure so we just click on this policy we want to configure or we want to make some settings policy setting which will be part of this group policy object so then we click here uh, right click there and click edit and we click edit then this group policy management editor displays here and this editor in this editor we can actually define the group policy settings here so those policy which we'll create that will that can be applicable to computer that can be applicable to users 
so now we are going to apply these configurations to users so that when users log in into uh, some computer using domain credentials are, are the username and passwords created on domain if they log in with that uh, credential then user should not be able to access control panel so we want to apply these restrictions to users so for that we click on user configurations and then we click on policies and in the policies we click on administrative templates and at administrative templates we click on control panel and and when we click on control panel maybe double click there and you can see here we have different options and one of the options is that prohibit access to control panel and pc settings so this is what we are going to configure but you can see here there are some other things hide a specified control panel item always open all control panel items show only specified control panel items so at the moment we are only interested in doing this so we are want to prohibit access to control panel and pc setting so we select it this security setting maybe and then maybe double click there and when we double click on that a new window appears and that is related to prohibit access to control panel and pc settings so we selected that and then here we are going to enable this policy setting we say enable and then we have to click on apply here so here you can read for the details as well so this setting prevents control panel or the control.exe and system setting.exe the program files for control panel and pc setting from starting uh, so this is further details but we want to restrict access of users to this control panel so we say apply okay and uh, then we click uh, um, uh, sorry close this group policy management editor as well and then we have this restrict access group policy object which we just have created and now i'm going to right click there and when we click right click on this policy which i just created then we also have an option to of enforce we just click on enforced and then we close it here and uh, after closing it let's say i'm also going to close this and now to verify that we on this windows 10 machine these these users will not have access to control panel we want to verify that whether this policy has been um, has been applied to a, to a user so for that i'll go to windows 10 machine and first i'll log off from this so maybe we can say here cmd and we can say log off sorry so log off press enter and uh, now we are log uh, so system from this system windows 10 we log off and we'll again try to log in from this same system and this is the user which is created this user account nishan user is created on this windows 10 if you want to see it maybe i can show it here let's say we go to server manager and go to tools and we can say active directory users and computers and in this active directory user and computer you should be able to see the uh, user account which is showing there so maximize it you click users so we have this user here you can see ishan user so this is a user we have already created and that user account is created on this domain and by using this user if we go to windows 10 and if we log in with that account from this windows 10 machine and we need to give the password and then we press enter and now from windows 10 we are logging into the uh, domain into this windows 10 machine and let's see if on this windows 10 machine we can access control panel and system settings so for that we type here control panel and press here and you can see this this time this is not going to allow that particular user to access control panel because there the message is showing that this operation has been cancelled due to restriction in effect on this computer please contact your system administrator because on windows 2022 server we have blocked the access of this user to control panel 
So this was simple demonstration that how we can and disable the access that we can restrict access to control panel and PC settings using a group policy objects. So thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Hope to see you in some other video.